Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Corolla Customs. And before we get started, I just want to thank my returning subscribers for coming on my channel and watching my video. And also, I want to thank any new subscribers who are considering joining my channel. If you do consider, please hit the subscribe button. Also, hit that bell notification on top. I will appreciate it very much. Video, I just want to let you guys know that my website is finally up, CorollaCustoms.com. So you can go there. You can find all kinds of stuff about uh, about me, how to and um, also I have a little shop store I have two new t-shirts available uh, all the proceeds are going to be donated to st. Jude's Hospital so you guys can get yours the ones who love the Chevy Avalanche live life off-road here's the black edition and the uh, white editions over here there you go live life off-road guys for those who like the Chevy Avalanche I ask that you get one it goes to a good cause so let's get started in this video all right guys welcome back to corolla customs it's ryan here in today's episode i'm going to show you how to change the spare tire hoist on the 2004 chevy avalanche so the reason why we're changing our spare tire hoist is because this one's outdated plus it was rusting and it didn't really work i had the spare tire on there and at the time i was doing the brake line so it was in the way and um the hoist really wouldn't push it down anymore so I ended up having to cut it off get the spare tire down and finish the brake lines now that that's all done um, it's time to change this hoist into the new updated one so in order to remove the hoist the first thing we need to do is take this push rod out and you want to use a flat blade screwdriver and prop it in the tabs and pull it out So now that's out of the way, take a 15 millimeter socket with an extension and a ratchet and pop that off. Now that the 15 millimeter ball is removed, all we have to do is lean the hoist forward to us and slide it out. And there we go, it is removed. Here you can see the old one and the new one. So side by side, they're the same but different. The only difference is the old one has the locking mechanism, the new one does not. The reason why they stopped doing that with the Chevy design of the original one is because this one usually locks itself into place and sometimes it's hard for the owner to get the spare tire out, which causes a distress when you're stuck somewhere. So the new up-to-date version does not have that locking tab, but it still holds it in place just as good. So um, we're gonna go out with this one and in with this one. First, get the lip over the ridge. Everything should fit smoothly. Then reinstall our 15 millimeter bolt. Use your extension and socket to drive the bolt in. Then use the ratchet to tighten snug. Last but not least, we take our prop rod and we push it back in. Make sure it snaps into place. There we go. I hope you guys enjoyed that video on how to install the spare tire hoist. It was very easy. On a 1 to 10, it was like a 2. But scratch that, it was like a 1. 5 minutes, that's all it takes. Not that hard. Anyone can do it, even on the driveway without a lift. It's very easy. Now, I'm going to leave it like that for now, because on the next episode, I'm going to show you how to restore your rim. And we're going to take it from old and crappy to looking nice. So I'll see you then. So if you guys like this video and you stuck around long enough and you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification on top. Every view counts, guys. Uh, every view is appreciated and I love all my subscribers equally and I love my new ones too. So hop aboard. And if you guys ended up liking the shirts, I'll definitely leave a link in the description below so you guys can head over to my website and order it. Like I said, all the proceeds go to St. Jude's Hospital for Children. And um, if you also want to know where to get the hoist, I'll leave a link in the description as well. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. Peace.